Hey folks, John Wilkerson here from The Wired Homeschool and strugglingforpurpose.com. I'm going to review Boss Jock Jr. for you. If you're not familiar with that, that is a free version that was just recently released on July 31st, 2015 for the Boss Jock Studio app. And while this isn't as fully featured, it's got some nice little improvements over the previous version. And uh, I think it's got some neat little features that you're going to like. So let's take a look at it right now. All right, so here you can see the Boss Jock Jr. app. And uh, one of the things you're going to notice right away is the color scheme. The color scheme is much different from Boss Jock Studio. In fact, here's what I'll do. I'll actually open it up for you and you can see the difference. So here's Boss Jock Studio. Very dark theme by default and then Boss Jock Jr. is here. Very light colored theme. Also you'll notice here that this volume button is much bigger. Uh, a larger touch surface which I really like. That is really nice to know and you can see where the default setting is. You can actually kind of see it you know where they recommend the default setting to be which is good too. You have the suite of carts that you would uh, normally see there. Uh, obviously these are empty, but here's the thing that is going to be different. Um, you cannot upload to this app. So in Boss Jock Studio, if I hit one of these empty carts and I want to upload, I can choose here where to upload it from. I can choose Dropbox, iTunes Share. I can even connect um, wirelessly to my device and upload it that way through a browser. That is not available in Boss Jog Jr. And, you know, for a reason. They're offering it for free, and so it's going to have fewer features. You can record what you want on your cart. You can hit this audio button, and any recordings that are already here uh, are available to you. Also, if there's any music on your device, you can choose that. See, I don't have any music on here but you can choose music from your playlists that are on your device so if you have an iPhone and you've got music on it that will work and you, you also have the option of going to the store here and you can actually purchase carts so here you see a number of items available for purchase and there's these free carts here that are available that you can add in which is really nice and a number of other different options. Again, some paid options here. Uh, this legal podcast music.com, there's a free option and then a $2.99 option. And then it gives you the option actually of uh, upgrading all the way to Boss Jock Pro. And the cart store is a very interesting feature here because now you can add carts from different resources, which I really happen to like. Uh, the other thing that is new about this is if I hit the record button, you can see here that the timer is flashing. The mic is not active and so it is not recording. But once I depress the mic and start talking, you can see the counter starts. And once I let go, it stops. It auto pauses. If I lock in, it's going to keep going. And then all I have to do in order to pause that recording again is then hit that and it will pause automatically. Now when you come over to Boss Jock Studio, I, it doesn't really have that auto pause feature. So you look at all these settings here and there are no auto pause features. This auto pause feature in Boss Jock Jr is in my opinion very nice and so then when you're finished with your recording you hit just slide over there slide to finish and it saves it and as you can see here it saves it as 128 kilobit per second m4a stereo file okay and you can play it press the mic and start talking you can see the counter starts and once i let go lock in it's going to keep going and then all I have to do... The other thing you may notice too is, so if I have Boss Jock Studio open here, 
you can't hear anything unless you have your headphones in. So if I hit my cart here, I can't hear it. The speakers are muted. You have to have headphones in. Well, with Boss Jock Jr., that's not the case. I don't have to have headphones in to hear my recording. Now, if you recall, I had that recording there. Now, I can put that in as a track now. So you could do something like, um, say you have some standard uh, introduction. So I have a podcast called Tend the Podcast. So if I wanted to record a standard introduction that I just um, play every time. So I hit record, clear my throat, get my water, say what I want to say, and then go. Tend the podcast, 10 minutes every 10 days. My name is John Wilkerson. All right, so I've got my recording, slide to finish. It saves it. Now I can hit I can uh, hit done. I can rename it here just by tapping on the name, right? So we just type in here, 10 podcast. Intro. Done. Done. Now. See, I could have just recorded that there as well if I wanted to. But I'm going to select 10 podcast intro. And now when I'm ready to start my podcast, I can do this. 10 the podcast, 10 minutes every 10 days. My name is John Wilkerson. Today I'm talking to Jim Bob Thornton. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about how much he likes sausage and biscuits. All right, so now I have recorded my podcast with my intro and everything. Obviously, it's not going to sound the best in this area that I'm in because I've got a lot of flat surfaces and I don't have my good mic installed. But I do get that option. So when I'm done with that file, now I don't want to keep it. Boom, I just hit delete and it deletes the file. Now we have this audio option here where I can go in and look at all my audio here. I can add artwork to this. Go to my photo library. I don't think I have anything in here. Okay, here we go. The Wired Homeschool. Even though this is not for the Wired Homeschool, but we'll go ahead and pick that anyway. Right. Actually, let's cancel that. Let's go with this one. All right, boom. I want to use that. So now I have that with it, and um, if I want to export this now, I just choose where I want to export it to, whether it's to Dropbox, iTunes, SoundCloud. I can export via FTP or any other means that are available here with these other options. So these are your different... I can even save it to my camera roll as a video. This is new. So, right, I don't want animations and I don't want made with Boss Doc Jr. I'm going to hit continue. This is really neat because if you are a person who likes to take your podcasts and then upload them to YouTube, now you have a way to do that. So I'll open up my videos here. Here's the video I just created. There it is. There's the video. Press the mic and start talking you can see the counter starts and once I let go lock in it's going to keep going and then all I have to do in order to all right, I'm just gonna delete that now because I don't really want to keep that video that was me this morning hitting my alarm but you can see that there are a number of neat little features that are available now in Boss Jock Jr. that I hope we'll see in Boss Jock Pro this is all your information about it. I really like the fact that you can automatically add your album artwork to the file. And I can change this here, right? I can change this to um, podcasting with Boss Jock Jr. by John Wilkerson. Boom. 
done. Now when I export this, it's going to go out with my artwork and everything. This is a low quality version of the image. That's why it didn't look so great earlier. But there you have it. Podcast. I can go ahead and export it. Now, the one thing that you're going to notice is that there's no option to export as a wave and no option to export as an MP3. Those are add-on features. That's my review of Boss Jock Jr. I think it's a great option for hobby podcasters. And if you're thinking about podcasting and you don't want to invest a lot of equipment, if you've got an iPhone or you've got an iPad, you can go ahead and start podcasting with Boss Jock Jr. completely for free. And there's a number of free hosting services out there where you could upload your file to. So, Boss Jock Jr., that's my review. Uh, if this helps you, give it a thumbs up. Uh, like the video and all that kind of stuff. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe. Thanks for watching. And for more videos like this, you can just check out my channel for other tutorials and reviews. Bye.